Thank you. 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 Love. All right. 
word. I'm talking about when you have that love, you can rejoice in the truth. Yes. See, love protects. It trusts and it hopes. And it always perseveres. All right. Now see, that's what Paul said. Mm -hmm. Now let me tell you about John. Mm -hmm. And this is a familiar passage. Mm -hmm. John said, for God so loved the world that he gave his one and only uh -huh. son. All right. That whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, All right. but have everlasting life. Uh -huh. And God did not send his son into this world to condemn the world. But to save the world through uh, him. Right. And that's at John 3, 16 and 17, mm -hmm. if you haven't torn it out of your life. All right. All right. Let me say this as I close. Y'all be your text. Let's be mindful to love one another. I need to put a pen in it because I remember when I was attending um, weekly Bible study here. The first thing but one of the first things that I heard the pastor talk about is love. Uh -huh. And some of the things that I mentioned here today is what he said in my notes a couple of years ago. Right. And some of the examples that he gave throughout time was that when you love someone, you learn to listen to them. Right. Yeah, it's, it's easy to listen to someone that you love to see what the problem really is. And to ask how are they, something some as simple as asking, how are they doing? And see if you can help, and help if you can, but be quick to say if you can't. All right. Put your cell phones down and talk. Make time for those you love. Try to lighten someone else's load. Those are the small stuff. Show your appreciation and smile. Do your part and make this world a little kinder. Show more love in every place. God did, and we can too. Thank you, Amen. Come on, y'all. Give him a hand. I'm trying to say, if it's 
Seigneur, on va l'approcher. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Like a 
one of those sandals off. Put you on some socks and hide right. them things.
with the Spirit of God. Even if a dog walked through the door, he gonna start barking at it. Thank <laughs> you. 
Spirit. Jesus said, you don't understand. When he fills you with that spirit, out of your belly shall flow rivers of living water. Thank you, Jesus.
do anything but pay. Yeah. I was born with Apple.
he's away at school. He has a camp for one week, and I thank and I praise God for the opportunity for him to be able to travel. And I ask that um, you will remember him in your prayers, Amen. that God will keep him safe on his journey to and from. Our scripture today is a familiar one. It's coming from 1 Corinthians chapter 13. And it reads, Rejoice it not in iniquity, but rejoice in the truth. Bear it all things, believe it all things, right. hold it all things, yeah. endure it all things. Yes, Charity never faileth, but where there be prophecy, they shall fail. Mm -hmm. Whether there be tongues, they shall cease. Yes. Whether there be knowledge, it shall vanish away. For we know in part, and we prophesy in part. But when that which is perfect is come, then that which is in part shall be done away. When I was a child, I spake as a child. I understood as a child. I thought as a child. But when I became a man, I put away childish things. Now we know, for now, we see through a glass darkly, but then face to face, now I know in part, but then shall I know, even as also I, I've known. And now abideth faith, hope, charity, these three. But the greatest of these is charity. Yes. May the Lord add a blessing to the readers, the doers, and the keepers of his holy word. Amen. 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 Which is 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verses 6 through 13. Amen. 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 Please um, give me your voices in this over 100.
Because your father's once again coming with this, and I can thank you for coming in and addressing your store for it. Let me put this today. Thank you, Brian. Thank you, Brother Father. Thank you for the help of these little justices today, my own father. Right. Remember the ones that are here, my own father. Bless it now. Remember the sick and unfaithful. When you can't hear your own way, my own father. Bless the soft, bless the perfect, and take note for it. If you use that perfect, in Jesus' name, I have. Amen. Thank you.
This is supposed to be Sunday, July 10th at 2.30 p.m. The pastor, the pastor Billy Johnson Jr., elect lady Latoya Johnson, installation preacher, Pastor Donzel Hughes, senior of the St. Elizabeth Baptist Church in Grand Canyon. Uh, the location is going to be at 1831 Scott Street at Golden City. This is the New Macedonian Missionary Baptist Church. This is on Gazelle Street, y'all. It's at Pastor George Green, the Mountain Boat Church uh, of Golden. Uh, dear Pastor George Green and congregation, you are invited to share at our pastor anniversary service to be here on Sunday, August the 28th at 2.30 p.m. The theme for the program will be Standing in the Gap. Uh, Minister Aaron Lewis will be the guest speaker. Please make plans to attend. Thank you sincerely. The Great Mount Olive uh, Missionary Baptist Church. We, the pastor office and members of the Mount, where they got Mount, invite you to worship with us on this day of celebration. We thank you in advance for your fellowship and your prayer. The Bible tells us in 1 John 1 itself, but if we walk in the light, we have fellowship one with another, and the blood of Jesus Christ, his Son, cleanses us from all sin. Uh, <clears throat> Y'all, they have the dates and stuff on, on, on this sheet of paper. Well, it's going to be on July 17th, and our own Pastor Green is going to be, well, this church is going to be the top. Yes, indeed. Yes, Pastor. Okay, read that to you too. So Pastor George Green Senior will be preaching a Pastor A program uh, at Greater Mount Olive Baptist Church Sunday, July 17th at 2 30 p.m. Mount Eagle Baptist Church is a special church. And I want to apologize to Pastor and all the members. Y'all, I have got it old. And it don't take on a little bit to confuse me on this mural. So I forgot to read, you know, about this anniversary uh, on my son. But uh, yeah, I, like I said, when you get old, your brain don't work like you do the mural. Okay. So now we go back to church family, members, and friends. This is a reminder that we will celebrate Pastor George Green Senior. It, on here it says 36. Pastor anniversary on Sunday, July the 3rd. All members are asked to pay $100 assessment. Beginning today, you can pay your $100 to Sister Sadie Lanier, the Pastor A Committee Chair. And we know it is more blessed to give than to receive. Uh, <clears throat> and the Pastor Colors are all good. And let me do this out together. Okay, and the past anniversary, it will be at 2.30 p.m. the first Sunday in July. Of the Zion Baptist Church. Nine years ago, the minister, Michael Tyler, called as pastor of the Upper Zion Baptist Church. We continue to praise God for him and for the compassion he has shown our church family as a way to express our love and appreciation for his untiring commitment and teaching God's word and providing spiritual guidance to each of us, the Upper Zion Baptist Church family is planning to honor Pastor Tyler and First Lady Tyler on Sunday, June 26. We are extremely grateful for your uh, past participation on this great occasion. It will be a blessing to have fellowship with us again this year. The service will be at 9.30 a.m. for Sunday school. Morning worship will be held at 11 a.m. And the anniversary hour will be at 2 o'clock. That's uh, going to be, uh, it's going to be June the 26th. Yeah, that's today now. Yeah. Okay, we pass.
pastor office and members of the Mount invited to our women's empowerment. That's over. It's over. Oh, okay. Okay, on our sick charity list. So Shirley Mitchell, Brother McCoy is here this morning, y'all. Yeah.
Um, thanks.